When a crow fell into this zoo bear's pond, an unexpectedly sweet thing happened. But like, what does that even mean? One thing that Leonardo DiCaprio's movie The Revenant, that by the way got him that long overdue Oscar, taught us about bears is that even if they're not messed with, they can tear you from limb to limb. It reinstates the bestial nature of the bears and even though most people know that brown grizzlies like feeding on fruits and berries, it is also a commonly known fact that when they are extremely hungry, the males can also eat their own young ones. But these aggressive tendencies are shown by bears in the wild. What about bears who are forced into confinement? People expect them to be more aggressive and sometimes they prove people right. Brown bears, also called grizzlies, found in most of Europe, US and Canada are considered one of the most dangerous animals on earth. Not only is their size dominating, they are literally capable of causing the death of any being using their paws. These large bears can hardly find enough wild space in nature anymore thanks to the exponential way in which deforestation is taking place. On top of that, they are being confined in spaces like zoos. Animals kept in captivity tend to be more aggressive at times. Here are some less known bear facts. Bears, even though among the fierce forces of nature, are also known to have a kinder side to their nature. They can be really goofy and are certainly cuddly. That's why they're called grizzlies. A lot of zoos have bears and they really entertain people with their quirks, but confinement can make some bears irritable. And attacks on humans by bears are not unheard of, but that is true for all zoo animals. Therefore, extra care is taken as far as securing grizzlies is concerned. There are a lot of zoos who starve wild animals like bears, lions and tigers so that they don't have a lot of energy to act on their wild impulses and so that they can be easily tamed. This treatment is nothing short of barbaric but there are other zoos which keep the wild animals well fed and try to provide them space as close an imitation of nature as possible. One such zoo is the Budapest Zoo in Hungary. The official name of the palace is Budapest Zoo and Botanical Garden and it does not just keep animals on display. It is a professional conservation workhouse and place that safeguards endangered creatures. It has various conservation programs and is collaborated with organizations such as WWF. It can be safely assumed that the animals here receive the best care and are most certainly kind to each other, but one incident made everyone doubt that. For some time now, hooded black crows had been troubling the residents of the Budapest Zoo. Stealing meat from tigers, lions and even bears in the zoo authorities had to make sure to protect small animals like the guinea pigs, because crows are vicious and can prey on them. Just when one of these crows was on a stealing expedition, it was unlucky to fall into a pool and, since crows can't swim, started drowning. Unfortunately for the crow, the pool that it fell in belonged to the area where a bear resided. The entire incident was recorded by a visitor on video. The female bear in the picture is Volley. She was just lurking around the pond when she noticed a disturbance in the waters. It piqued her curiosity and she went closer to look at what the hubbub in her usually quiet pond was about. The video camera knew it before she did. Valley, to get a closer look, stepped on the rock in the pond which, eerily enough, had a carcass of a bird on it, as if a sign of Vali's potential. It obviously had been Vali's prey and she even moved around it with familiarity. The crow in the pond was not moving for a while but then it made a sudden desperate attempt to fly with its wings when it saw Vali closing in. Was this going to be another prey of Vali's? The crow had been trying to sneak out of the pond without making a noise. But the moment it saw Vali approaching it freaked out and even alerted Vali. It can be seen fanatically flapping wings hoping to fly out of water or simply wish to drown. Anything better than being eaten alive, really. The people could only pity the not so pitiable bird for the fate it was about to reach, but there was a twist they didn't expect. That is what the body language and desperation of the crow seemed to speak. While the crow tried to get out of the pond through any way possible, the bear stood by watching patiently. It seemed to wait for the crow to make the best effort and then jump in the picture. In the video uploaded ahead, it can be seen lurking around in no hurry, looking for some other food item in its residence. The spectators stood by watching children in horror. They just knew that escaping was no longer an option for the crow. It was only a matter of how the crow died, by drowning or becoming Vali's snack. Even though the language in the video ahead is not decipherable because it is Hungarian, it is clear from the excited voices of the people that it's the crow's fate they were discussing. 
but what actually happened no one saw coming. The bear had waited enough. When Vali was sure that the crow could not escape, either by flapping its wing or by taking the help of the edge of the rock, she put her claw into the pond to fish out the crow. However, even on the brink of death, the crow seemed determined not to die by becoming Vali's food. It fought Vali's grip but she was obviously at an advantage because of the virtue of her being a bear on safe ground. By now, Vali had even put her mouth in the pond and the crow was trapped under one of her claws. There was literally no escape. However, when Vali was trying to put the crow in her mouth, it nipped at her nose sharply, as if warning her, even in its dire condition. Vali seemed a little taken aback, but that did not stop from putting the crow in her mouth. Everyone thought it was the end of the crow, but as the video clip shows, that's not quite true. Vali had the crow in her mouth now, holding on to it with its single wing. The crow was completely drenched in water and, if closely seen, can be seen shivering. With one single pull, Vali, with all her strength, pulled the crow out. The spectators should have covered their children's eyes by now, because everyone knew what was coming next, but they were proven wrong. The moment the crow was roughly pulled out by the bear and literally thrown on the ground, the person taking the video instantly focused on the crow as it looked lifeless. It probably terrified itself to death. It just lay there claws in the air, not stirring an inch. It was a good thing that the video didn't stop because what actually happened would have been unbelievable without proof. When the crow was apparently dead, the bear absolutely stopped paying attention to it. It's probably true that bears don't attack what seems to be dead, and that's why we're advised to play dead if we encounter a grizzly in the wild. Was the crow doing the same? Whatever was happening was quite strange. While Vali was busy not being interested, there was some movement by the crow. After some moments of lying still, the crow shook as if from stupor and looked all puzzled. Vali's back was turned to it and half on its back, it just kept staring at the bear, surprised it was still alive and quite unable to do anything else because of the entire ordeal of struggling in the water and trying not to be eaten by a bear being draining of all the energy this crow had. What was happening? And this was the question even the spectators seemed to be asking. The crow flipped and stood up on its feet but barely. In the video clip, it can be seen shivering, almost weightless, bamboozled by what was happening or not happening. Its confusion and surprise are clearly visible in its demeanor. It couldn't deal with the fact that the bear actually saved it instead of snapping its wings and eating it by the side of the pond. But did the bear really save the crow? Online spectators believe that Vali had been planning to eat the crow all along but changed her mind in the end. Why? They believe that the crow nipping her on the nose alerted her and she lost interest in it at that moment. Even the official zoo website writes that the crow was lucky because Vali seemed just curious, but some others believe otherwise. As unbelievable as it sounds, it can be seen in the video clip that after pulling the crow out, Vali just went back to eating carrots and apples. Some might think of her as a disgrace to the bear community, but online commentators have a perfectly reasonable explanation for Vali's behavior. The website issued a statement which reads, The crow was lucky to meet Vali instead of another tenant of the paddock named Defoe, as the latter probably would have had a taste of the blackbird. So was it the kind nature of Vali or the good luck of the crow? And if it was the former, why did she act so unbear-like? The fact that the bear was not actually trying to hurt the crow is also proven by the fact that the crow didn't fly away or try to leave the bear's vicinity for quite some time. It shows that though confused, it had by now garnered trust in Vali, that she wasn't interested in it, and thus it was safe to rest there for a while. Cross-species altruistic acts are not unknown in nature. Some commentators believe that kindness comes naturally in some cases, and it has nothing to do with the species of the animals. Before going on to Vali's video and understanding her actions, here are a few examples of different animals helping each other in distress, and it's overwhelming. A lioness saved a cow from another lion and no, not to have it all for herself but to save its life. If this can happen, then believing that Vali actually was trying to save the crow all along doesn't sound so far-fetched now, does it? Even lionesses saving other animals in the wild isn't unknown. This is almost heartbreaking. The fish is clearly beyond help here, but the little pupper, who looks extremely sad by the state of affairs, is doing the best it can to save the life of this almost dead animal. Dogs epitomize compassion and this is just another piece of proof of that. So hippos have become water saviors as there have been many incidents now where they have saved animals from the clutches of crocodiles. Some researchers believe that crocodiles are somewhere actually scared of hippos. In this case, 
one hippo literally chased the crocodile away which had a deer in its mouth. Yep, a dog made it in the list again. We can't really blame them for being the most helpful and compassionate creatures on earth, can we? Here's a dog patiently feeding a baby goat. Even though Vali didn't go as far as feeding the crow, she saved its life, and that's a kind act in itself. The other theory which tries to justify Vali's behavior is that Vali was well fed and taken care of at the zoo, then she didn't need to prey on the crow. All her food needs were met at the zoo. One could notice that from the spread of carrots and apples in her lounging area. Whatever it was, she sure did surprise the spectators. The unbear-like act of Vali's got her instant fame. The video clip went viral within days of its release on YouTube. As of today, it has garnered almost 20 million views. Not everyone can understand the language spoken in the video, but one doesn't need a translator to decipher people's astonishment. This is what the website page for Vali is titled. Yes, Vali has her own separate page on the website now that she is an international superstar. Her act made a lot of people change their minds about bears, but one must still be wary. They are, after all, the creatures of the wild and should not be taken for granted. Vali's behavior should be looked at in isolation. Vali's act proved really advantageous for the zoo. As she garnered attention, people from across the globe flocked to look at her at the Budapest Zoo. It obviously elevated the business and that is why Vali now has a separate page on the website as she alone can garner all the needed attention.